from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. I'm student meteorologist Vivian Rennie and here is a look at today's forecast. Overall, it was a beautiful day here in Center County with a little bit of cloud decks moving in in the later parts of the afternoon. Before we're gonna to start to see lots and lots of rain over the next few hours, that's gonna be brought in by this large system that's just starting to move into the Commonwealth now. And that's gonna to continue to push into Center County, bringing some heavy accumulation totals in the next few hours. It's definitely the time to make sure you have a raincoat or umbrella in your bag. As we look at temperatures across the state, we're seeing those coolest temperatures up to the north of us. We're gonna be seeing 55 degrees here in State College right now. And that's gonna be the case over much of the Commonwealth. We've got these coolest temperatures up to the northwest of us. That's where we're already seeing heavy accumulation totals of rain. With those warmer temperatures down in Philadelphia, 71 right now, overall a very nice day to be there before even more rain moves into the area. Temperatures across the country, we're gonna be seeing this, low, this large band of those cooler temperatures as a front's gonna continue to move in and that's what's gonna push all of the rain into our area. We're still seeing those very warm temperatures that we're definitely gonna be looking for down in Florida at 82 right now somewhere I wish I was before this rain starts to move into our area. But one good thing about Pennsylvania is we've got beautiful fall foliage right now. High color here in State College and for much of the state. We're still seeing that peak color up to the north of us and a little bit less color, that moderate color bands down south in Philadelphia where they're gonna be seeing some color a little bit later in the month. But right now we've got some peak color and very nice time to get out there and take some photos with our lovely full foliage in Center County. As we look at all the rain that's gonna maybe put a damper on taking all those photos of fall foliage, we're gonna be seeing this future weather of this large band of showers moving across the Commonwealth tomorrow. In, into tonight, we're going to be seeing these very heavy accumulation totals, lots of rain, and that's going to continue to persist overnight, clearing a little bit tomorrow morning. But we do have that chance of some pop-up showers remaining in the area. But luckily, we're going to miss the highest accumulation totals that we're going to be seeing from this storm, which are going to really persist down in the Philadelphia area. So they're going to be seeing even more rain than we'll be seeing while we're going to be clearing out for a lovely weekend here in State College. As this clears out, it's going to be a great day. State College, we're going to be seeing even some clear blue skies on Saturday morning. It's going to be a really great day to get out there and experience that fall foliage. So we look at those accumulation totals, we're going to be seeing 0.26 inches by tomorrow afternoon alone. And that's going to continue to bump up as more and more rain falls into our area. The highest accumulation amounts are going to be off to the east of us, 1.78 inches are possible to be falling in Allentown over the next few days. That's something you're gonna to wanna to really keep an eye out for for flooding streams and other water features. You're gonna to wanna to make sure to keep that umbrella on you for the next few days. It's gonna start clearing out, but today 64 degrees was our high. There's been a few showers across the state today. Winds coming from the south at five to 10 miles an hour. Overall, it was a beautiful day before all the rain's gonna move in tonight and showers are going to persist all night, 58 degrees, so it's not gonna to be too cold out there, but winds are gonna be um, from the south at five to 10 miles an hour. Overall, relatively warm, but it is going to be a soggy evening before it starts to clear off for tomorrow, 60 degrees with that chance of scattered showers throughout the entire day. So we take a look at our seven day forecast. We're gonna be seeing those persistent showers through today and tomorrow, but it's gonna be a beautiful weekend. Don't forget about daylight saving time. You're gonna to wanna to make sure to uh, make your clocks fall back just that one hour and sun Saturday and Sunday are going to be beautiful and then we're going to be seeing that chance of showers starting off in the beginning part of next week when we're going to be seeing showers coming back into our area for the beginning part of next week. This is your campus weather service forecast. I'm Vivian Rennie.